Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I'm going to share with you a tutorial sponsored by Greetings of Grace. They sent me these beautiful pressed flowers and they're the most beautiful flowers and vibrant colors. Now, I love to work with pressed flowers, but of course there are certain times of the year here in Ohio that you just can't go out and press them. So it's really handy to buy them uh, already pressed, dried, and brightly colored. There's no loss of color integrity and some of them have actually even been dyed so that they're like super bright, vibrant colors that you might not normally see in nature. So anyways, they sent me some of these flowers and I took a nice long look at them and then I got inspired to put them into some resin pendants maybe for like a Mother's Day present. So to make this project you're gonna need some beautiful pressed flowers like these ones from Greetings of Grace. You're also going to need some metal book plates. You're gonna need a mixing container and some little cups to put your two-part resin in. You're gonna need a two-part epoxy resin of your choice some packing tape, and some stirring sticks. And I also recommend having a couple of toothpicks on hand. I'm also using these mica flakes to finish off the project as well. The first thing you're gonna do is take that packing tape, and it needs to be a clear, shiny packing tape, like a cello tape, and you're gonna put it over the top of your book plates. Now these book plates are closed on all four sides. They don't have the open side where you can slide in paper. That's really important because we wanna burnish down the packing tape on all four sides so that there's no place for the resin to escape. We are effectively making a bezel with this open book plate. And just make sure that the tape is adhered all the way around and you can see where that is. Now, using the instructions on your package, Mix your two-part epoxy resin. Make sure that you mix it thoroughly and that you also um, let it sit for a little bit as the package may indicate so that all the air bubbles are working their way out. Next, you're going to fill your little handmade bezels here with some of your epoxy resin. And I like to lay down a little layer um, so that the flowers have something kind of to rest on top of. So I'm just dabbing it on gently, kind of filling it about halfway full. So now I'm going to pick some flowers to go into my pendant. And I chose this pansy because I know it will fit into my frame. But if you find ones that are bigger, you can just use your scissors and trim it down. It's kind of up to you. But once you've patted in a few flowers, make sure you just tap them in very lightly. You're gonna drizzle some more resin on the back. Because remember, you are working upside down, so make sure the face of the flower is facing down. And then I use some of these little mica flakes on the back to kind of create a mirror silvery type of finish but that's again optional you could also use glitter if you wanted or leave it completely plain in the back and you'll be able to kind of see through the pendant and that's kind of a fun look too so now the hardest part is waiting this takes 24 hours to cure so I left it overnight and I came back the next day and it's basically done so you just carefully peel back your packing tape from the face of the resin and look at it. It is so smooth and shiny and perfect. And there's that gorgeous pressed flower now saved for all eternity in your pendant. Now, if you like, you may want to add a little dangle. So I did a little bit of jewelry technique here, just strung some little beads, made a little looped wire, and I attached it onto the bottom of my pendant. So here's my finished book plate pendant, ready to hang, so cute, kind of vintagey and themey, but also fresh like spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and or subscribe, and I also encourage you to look at the link in the description area for the Greetings of Grace. There's a special code if you would like to buy some pressed flowers. So thank you all for watching, and have a crafty day.